is my tray baked salmon. Ooh, really simple nice. to do, and it's tray baked, so obviously all in one. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. So do tatties on the side there as well. Yeah. Tatties are going to go in with it as well. It's Ooh, that simple. Lovely. Okay, right. <laughs> Actually, talking about potatoes, that is the first part of this recipe. You whack on your oven to 200 degrees Celsius, so quite nice and hot, okay? Yep. Get some potatoes. Now, look, new season, new season potatoes. So in they go. You know, not even parboiled or not, anything? No, look, rock, rock hard. Oh, right, gosh, that simple. That a touch of oil, okay? Just a little bit of oil. That's about a table, just over a tablespoon there. Yeah. A touch of salt oh. and a touch of pepper. Mm. Okay, now imagine, preheated my oven, yeah? yeah? They go in there 15 minutes just so they start to colour. Okay. You've got five more minutes of cooking and it's this simple. Right. This is pancetta, completely optional, doesn't have to go in there. I like the saltiness. You could use smoked bacon on this one as well if you wanted. Yeah. In that goes and you just give it all another five minutes in the oven. And basically, just give it a mix up just so it starts to go crispy. Mm -hmm. I'll get this one out of the way. Yeah. In true style, obviously, we've got one done. Now, this is warm, so I've just put this over to one side. As you can see, the potatoes have started taking on some colour. The pancetta is starting to get a little bit crispy as well. Yeah. Now, usually, you use them as salad onions, but this is red onion. I like it. They've got a bit of sweetness I to them. I love red yeah? onions. And a bit of colour too. Exactly that. Colour as well, yeah, definitely. Yeah. People eat with their eyes, but also it's quite chunky, and I find it breaks down, so it's just still crispy, which I love. Mm. Now, touch of a red onion, touch of garlic goes in there. Look, it's just Ooh, been sliced nice. up. Oh, okay? so little slithers, really. Exactly. You yeah. want it so it bursts in your mouth as you eat it. Yeah. Okay? And then the idea is you just stir everything together. Okay? And then after that, we're going to create just a little, a little well in the middle of the tray, okay? Meanwhile, this will be spitting and hot and everything. No, 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 we because to... it's been in the oven and it's out. It's not going to be on the hob. 15 minutes in the oven and out, oh, that's it, okay? Right. So oh, right, so it's staying out. It's staying out oh, for the moment, okay. for the right. moment. Okay. Okay, <laughs> now, again, new season. New season asparagus. asparagus, okay? Just mm. coming in. Now, obviously, you've got to trim them up. And if you can see this, look, that's the woody end. And we're just going to say, you just snap it's off that woody end. And also, if they are a bit thicker, just get a small knife and you can just flick off the little um, bits because they can get stuck in your teeth. However, this is quite small, which is a result for me because that means I can put them straight in yeah, after snapping And the, the fresher ends. they are, the easier that is to do yeah. as well. Don't waste that. You can use that in soups. Mm, nice. Or okay? well, stock or is it a bit of non-stock? No, it'll go a bit cloudy. Yeah, right, yeah. anyway, Ooh, yeah. we've got our little, our little area there. I've got some asparagus I've already prepared. And we're going to do... If you, I don't know if you've heard the term trivet when you cook. Yes, so I protects, don't know what it means. It basically, it's a, a form of vegetable or a rack that protects the base of whatever you're cooking, be it meat or whatever, in this instance, fish. So we've made our little, ah. little channel. So the asparagus is the trivet it, exactly upon that. which you're going to lay the salmon. Lay that ah. down. You're getting into this now. Oh, right. I'm enjoying it now. Okay, right, <laughs> this is um, trimmed salmon. I mean trimmed by it. It's basically the skin's come off, the little bones have been removed. If you do have any left in there, use a pair of tweezers, just pick them out. Yeah. Okay, really simple. A bit of oil goes over the top. And then some lemon for that wonderful little citrus kick. Oh, I Just do. I zest. love lemon in, in food. I'm using a fine grater. If you've got a box grater at home, you know, just use the smallest setting you've got. Yeah. Give it all a good pat off. Grab that. Lay it over the top. Salt, tiny bit, only a bit. Pepper, and then randomly, white wine vinegar. Oh. Right. And what it, does that do? It helps with the oiliness of the fish. Okay. Just a splash. I'm going to turn around quickly, wash my hands. Now, my oven is still yeah. on 200 degrees. Yeah. When cooking it again for the second time, the veg finishes off. The salmon, 15 minutes max. Only 15? You, you don't want to overcook it. Fiona, this is going in the oven. Come back in a bit, <laughs> we're going to have a wicked dinner. Do you know, it looks like spring, that dish, too, doesn't it? 